Hey everyone, Steve Gonser, physical therapist with Run Smart Online here. I uh, just jumped away from the family quick because I want to do one more live before we launch uh, Need for Speed, which is a four week running program where I teach you how to run faster. I want to tell you some secrets because there's a lot of races coming up here in Buffalo, uh, New York. We have a 15K tomorrow, the 716. Let me know in the comments if you're going to be running that. But I want to teach you guys a couple of tricks to run faster when you get tired. So generally towards the end of a race or in the middle, three quarters, hopefully not early, um, you're going to get to a point where you're going to be going through the mental battle. We know what I'm talking about, right? Where you uh, are kind of checking out a little bit. You're like, ah, good enough. My, that was my always, my always go-to when I was running uh, in a race was I get to a certain point in a race. I'd be like, ah, good enough. Like just finish, get to the finish line. And I did that for years. And what I found was, is you can change, get away from the good enough, that I'm never doing this again, like, oh, just get to the finish. All that negative stuff that comes in your head, you can actually flip the switch and turn it into some positive. So what I usually talk about, and again, this is all part of the Need for Speed program, which is coming up, it, registration closes uh, tonight. So if you're interested in having me help you with this, go to openmystride.com, you can learn more. But this is uh, typically, what I would be running. I'd be running and going through this whole thing and I, I start to have those negative thoughts come in. Those negative thoughts that you're experiencing in a race should be a trigger for you now. They should be something that triggers your mind to say, okay, this guy Steve, this crazy guy Steve, uh, mentioned something about these negative thoughts creeping in. It's usually, like, oh, this feels a little difficult. Oh man, I'm only at you know, X mile. When you start to hear those thoughts or you start to feel that way in a race, you should recognize it and then this is what you want to do. You want to start transitioning and emphasizing your run form. Focus on instead of the negatives into the positives. Focus on what you can do for your run form so that you can maintain your form so that when someone yells to you that you're looking great, you could actually be looking good and not like you want to throw up on yourself. I mean, that's just me. Um, but when you make that change, you'll, you'll break away from shuffling. You'll stop seeing your miles slow, mile after mile after mile. And I've saw this many times with myself and I posted my results earlier where I've relatively even split through a race. And it's not that it was easy, it was a huge struggle. So this doesn't make the end of the race any easier, but it does get you to the finish line so you can enjoy that beer and get that medal quicker. So here's what you need to do. You recognize that, that point where things start to get struggle and start to get tough. That's your critical point in your run or in your race. And all you're gonna start doing is transition. I'm just gonna go ahead and point this down a little bit. Now I just, there's suns on the back side of my house right now. So you're just gonna see it. I'm just doing this raw. But you're gonna be running right, you're going down the road. Instead of like a low swinging, like, oh, I'm just trying to get through this thing, I want you guys to start thinking about how can I engage my, my hips, my glutes, my core, and use that in my running. Because when you're a shuffler, when you're barely getting by and you're, you're kind of not picking up your feet, you're running from your calves and it's, it's not helping you. So what you're gonna end up focusing on is what we call the figure four position. You're gonna work on driving this leg through. The key thing with this is, is it's gonna allow yourself to open up. The tough part for a lot of runners, you think it'd be simple. Okay, well this guy wants me just to open my stride. I can do that. You have to have the anatomy for it. If your hamstrings are tight, if your hip flexors are tight because you sit all day at work, it's tough to do that. That works against you to be able to open your stride. The other thing that you don't want to make sure that you don't do is the overcorrection. I'm going to go ahead and let me see if I can get this right. Bring this down a little bit. A lot of runners end up going and going into like a butt kick. They're trying to just pick their feet up so they get a butt kick. Uh, some runners overdrive up, which causes a huge launch up into the air, super inefficient and uh, not helpful in your running. So you gotta make sure you don't make these errors. But the key thing for you, I want you to recognize, especially if you're gonna be running in a race upcoming in this fall, maybe tomorrow at the Buffalo 716, is use the trigger if it's getting difficult to start driving the knee, open your stride, gobble up more ground. By opening your stride, you can add maybe an inch or two for every step that you take. And that is huge when you take 160 steps but with both legs. I mean, you're just, you're just traveling down the road faster. It breaks you away from shuffling. It doesn't make it any easier, but it does make it easier when you look down and say, oh my God, I am holding this pace. I can't believe it. Now, none of it matters if you go out way too hard. So there is other components to this, but if you're interested in having me show you all the tricks to making this happen, I've been doing this for 10 years with runners. It's the first time we're offering this program. Go to openmystride.com. Need for Speed is starting tomorrow. You can't get in after tonight. So if you want me to show you how to do this stuff, you have to get in. It's a great program. We got a lot of great runners coming in. So check it out, openmystride.com. Stop shuffling, improve your run form. It'll pay off huge for you in the long run. Pun intended. All right, bye guys.